how long have you been knitting and how did you learn how to knit? Well, the first time I tried knitting, I was nine years old and I didn't have much success at it. I tried again later when I was 16 and I made about half a scarf and then I quit. Then I, tr I tried it again as an adult, made half a sweater and never finished it. But after I had my first baby, I was almost 30, I, um, I took it up again and I never stopped. And so what do you know about the history of knitting? Well, knitting has been around for over a thousand years. Nobody knows exactly when people began to knit. But there have been fragments of knitted socks found in Egyptian tombs from 1100 AD. Um, knitting became popular as a cottage industry during the early 13, 1400s. Good women knew how to knit. And it was something that the whole family could participate in to make extra money, to bring in extra money. Usually the mom would spin the wool and dye it. Kids would gather the wool and then dad and the kids would sit around the fire uh, after dinner and knit socks for the rich people to wear. The knitting machine was invented in the 1500s, but Elizabeth I refused to give it a patent because she felt that it would put cottage industry out of business. Hmm, that's interesting. So you've mentioned you knitted as a child, you, you started to knit and you stopped and then again as a teenager. Um, but where did you learn though? How did you learn how to knit? And, and you said after you had your first child around the age of 30, that's when you, you know, you stayed with it. But who taught you? Where did you learn how to do what you do? Um, my grandma was a great knitter. She taught me the second time I started up. But really once I, um, once I, when I started and didn't stop, I learned from a book. I just went and get, got a little 30-page pamphlet from the store and completed some of the patterns in it, and by then I was hooked. Okay, so it was mostly the your grandma helping you get started, teaching you some things, but it was that pamphlet that had you try certain types of knits, and then once you learned that, you were ready to go off on your own and maybe learn a little bit more over time or... Yes, I think that a lot of people, uh, they'll try a new thing like knitting or crochet or whatever it is, and they do it, they don't do a great job the first time. And so they quit and they say, I'm not good at that. But if you want to get good at something, you have to do it badly for a while um, until you get good at it. Just keep doing it until you know what you're doing. Okay, yeah, and you just mentioned crochet, and I know. Um you know, I've been asked, you know, I tell people that you knit and they ask, um, you know, is that the same as crocheting or what's the difference? And I don't even know. So can you explain the difference between knitting and crocheting? Well, crochet, um, crochet is done with a hook and you only work one loop at a time. Um, knitting is usually but not always done in a row um, with a series of loops and you need at least two knitting needles to get it done. The finished product um, knits are going to have a much smoother surface than crocheted uh, articles and so I'm, I'm guessing my my mom mm -hmm. um, was it Easter? Every Easter she would make these chickens with the eggs inside. But I guess so she was crocheting because she had the hook. So that's that's what tells me she was crocheting them and not knitting them, those eggs. Right. That's crochet. Okay, yeah. So I have an interest in knitting. I mean, what made it to where you, you, you know, you, you started and stopped a few times. But what was it that made you, you know, even have an interest well, like I said, my grandma was a great knitter. She was from Norway, and she liked to work in colors. Um, she she could work without even looking at what she was doing. She just watched TV and, and worked very quickly. Um, unfortunately, she was used to being really 
poor and most of the yarn she used for her sweaters was pretty junky. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and um, so so you think it was your grandmother's influence? And well, there's much. that, and I lived in Scotland for a year and a half, and everybody in Scotland knew how to knit, and um, they they made such gorgeous things that you know it made me want to do that as well. Okay, so that that was what? How many years ago that you were in Scotland? Oh, twenty six years ago. Okay, so do you think it's still popular there today? I mean, or, or do you know? I mean, maybe you don't know. Scotland but. is known for its knitting. They are not known so much for the different colored as for the cable